Hello my YouTube friends, how are you today and welcome to So You Want To Be A Paranormal Investigator Episode 10, holy crap And since this is a special episode, uh, number 10 I'm going to do a special subject And it's a touchy subject for some people So in that case I apologize And it's about holy water mm. Now here's the thing uh, some people are very particular about holy water and think it can only come from a church and stuff like that and that's that so um, we're going to change it a little bit first we're going to say what is holy water holy water is water that is blessed by your deities by God and Jesus or whoever your deities is holy water is blessed by your personal Jesus your personal God your personal energy it is blessed by that in order to make you better and to keep a ward off evil okay and a lot of people believe you get it you can only get it from a church or a catholic church or this or that and that's fine okay so we're not going to call this holy water we're going to call this blessed water okay and it's what i've used for 50 years and it's worked fantastic for me okay i've never had a problem okay but this is my way of doing it Okay, it's, this is not endorsed by anybody but me. Okay, that's my disclaimer. Um, feel free to use this. Okay, if you if you believe in it and if you think it's going to work for you, then you you go right ahead. Uh, it's worked for me, uh, and I use it 99 times out of 100. Okay, because getting holy water is actually a lot harder than you might think. You know, uh, and then. A lot of people get online, which um, I have a hard time with that because I don't know if it's just some guy with plastic bottles filling up from a sink saying, okay, ship it off. I don't know anything about where it came from. I don't know anything about how it was done, okay? Uh, I like to know from start to finish the prayers and the blessings and stuff that's put into my blessed water, okay? So that's what this is about, and it, this is how I do it, okay? And um, like I say, it's all about faith. It's it's faith in yourself. It's faith in your in your prayers. It's faith in everything, okay? Any blessed water only works if faith is involved. If there's no faith, it won't work. Simple as, okay? So. How I do it is I get something like this <clears throat> and I make sure it's clean and I make sure it's all good inside you know I don't care if it gets dirty outside don't make a difference as long as it's clean inside and I say a prayer like uh, bless this vessel Lord creator and whatever I, I want to say bless this container to carry my blessed water right so you get a container, any container you want, and in your own way, ask for blessings for the container to contain your blessed water. Okay. Now, what I do, and the way I the way I feel is, God created everything, created nature, created water, created everything. So, with that said, hmm, where should I get my water? Ah, a natural stream, a natural well, a natural spring. Okay. So I look for either. A river that's that's running okay a spring or a natural well and I take my container now when do I get my water well God created night and day darkness and light right and depending on who your deities are it's the same deal okay so I go to the source, the water elemental, and the land. I have the air with me, okay? And there's obviously wood and, and earth and everything, and the sun. So what I do is I get down to the stream, and it's still dusk. And you know when the sun is just starting to come up, right? That's the fire element. When the sun is just starting to come up, as soon as it hits the water, Right? As soon as you see a reflection of that little glitter on the water, 
is when I fill my container. Okay. And I think at that point, I thank the um, elementals, the four directions, the wind and all that, uh, the four colors, all the good spirits, all the good animals, for giving me the gift that I may use to make my blessed water. Okay? So I thank all my all my belief system for giving me the gift and being able to collect uh, my water. I thank the river. I thank uh, I thank the heavens, I, I thank the trees, I thank the animals, I thank everything for the water because they all gave it to me. All right, so now I've got my my water. So what do I do? Well, I say my own prayers, of course. Um, I'll just give you a couple of um, my beginning part of my prayers and then, um, but of course, it's your faith. So if you believe, in the way I believe, then this will work for you. If, it, if you don't believe, you got to do your own belief, okay? Um, but I got my prayers written there. By this holy water and by your precious blood, wash away all my sins, O Lord. We cry without ceasing, O Lord, thy Father of goodness, that thou would sanctify this water with thy heavenly blessing and make it suitable for every use. Drive from it every influence of the devil so that whoever draws from this water may enjoy good health and full vigor and give praise and thanks to thee. So sanctify and purify all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. The second prayer that I do, O Lord God, who has given us ample supply of water, grant thy assistance and blessing and our cooperation every diabolical attack and confusion may be kept off and that this water supply may always be pure uncontaminated through Christ our Lord okay so that is now blessed right but then I say other prayers like uh, peace between neighbors peace between kindred peace between lovers peace between person and person Peace between wife and husband, peace between women and children. Come on. Oh, and peace, of course, Christ above all. All right, so I do that. And then I say, I thank the elements, I thank the animal spirits, I thank the four directions, I thank the winds, I thank nature, I thank Mother Earth and Father Son for creating this water for me to use in any emergency or any battle against wicked ways. Done. And that's it. Okay? Now remember you must uh, when you're doing this there's a few things to remember. Number one, you must believe in what you're doing. Number two, you must believe in your deities that you're talking to. Number three, you must stay focused on the job at hand. Okay, so when you're asking for your blessings and you're doing stuff, you must stay focused on that. Okay, if you get distracted for any reason, halfway through your prayer or whatever, you start over. Okay, use the same water. You don't have to get new water, but your prayers and everything that you put into it has to start from scratch. If you get distracted part way through, stop and restart okay because you cannot be distracted you must have all your focus all your intention all your faith um, the faith of, of every every prayer that you put into has to be there if it's not there it's not gonna be blessed water okay it's not gonna be focused blessed water and that's the main thing right there all right so make sure you stay focused at the task at hand Okay, and then when you go on investigation and stuff like that, you can bring it for you um, for emergency uses. Okay, now let me tell you something a little bit extra. So I bring a little container of this water, right? So someone in my group gets a certain type of attachment. Say it's an attachment. Let's say it's um, 
possession, oppression, or the one that happens most often is spiritual fog. Okay, it's when um, you can't really make sense of things and everything's a little bit off or whatever. That's when you pass them the water, or you can sage, which is a different story, but you pass them the water and they, okay, will take the water and you can tell them the words to say, okay, if you want to, or you can let them say their own words, but you take the water and they have to do it themselves. They take just put some water on their thumb, make a cross, and they'll say, by this holy water, your precious blood wash away all my attachments or my sins or by your precious blood relieve me of this whatever it is right and it will work <coughs> you don't want to do it for them um, because now you're involving an extra party see evil will not fight against evil because if it does it will defeat itself okay and I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before. Evil does not fight evil, for it will defeat itself. So if good jumps into a fight with good and evil, that means there's an opening for other evil to come in. Get the picture? So if you're not ready to battle, if you're not ready to <coughs> do some kind of exorcism, then you don't want to do it for them, okay? Because you're inviting any other negative energies around if, if you step in you're inviting energy because good will work with good and evil will work with evil so just keep that in mind so the best way that we always do it uh, and this is just my belief okay you don't have to believe this part but the way we believe it is is if one of us has an attachment when it comes to holy water or blessed water the person that feels the attachment does it himself right that way, it's just between him and that attachment and the blessed water. And the blessed water kicks ass. So you don't have to worry about it, see? Now, saging is different, okay? Because when you sage, which will be another episode, I'll show you how to sage and, and, and how saging works and I'll explain to you a little bit in detail how that works. Anyway, uh, so... Like I say, this is might be touchy for some people. If it is, I apologize in advance. Uh, this is not really up for debate. It's not about, well, tell me I'm right or tell me I'm wrong. Because uh, it doesn't matter. I've been doing it for 50 years. It works for me. Okay, Not necessarily saying that it's going to work for you. Uh, but if you have the faith, and if you want to try it, by all means try it. And consider it an emergency blessed water. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you can also go to a priest or a pastor and you can ask them, well, will this work for me? You know, whatever. Take, get a second opinion. Whatever you want to do. But anyway, this is just like a little tip and something that I do. And if you like it, by all means, have at her. All right? Until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch over, ghosts. <laughs> but have a good day.